was with Phil. Video number three for Utah Lake. This is the south end of the lake. That is uh, Provo over there and Spanish Fork, Payson and Spanish Fork over there. Those two, Payson, Spanish Fork. And then south of there, that's generally speaking Mount Nebo and this is West Mountain right up there 6,900 feet. We're, we're several hundred feet up above. I just thought I'd give you a view of the South Valley of uh, Utah County and it does definitely spread out below you there as you can see this was most likely all lake out here at one time when the waters were uh, historical level or historical era could have been much higher out here but uh, on a prehistorical era this was all very much underwater now, you can't see it as much from here but uh, there's there's spots up here along this ridge right about there right about in there that uh, there you can see that there's a uh, strata that goes a long long distance and there's layers all the way down the hillside so it looks like former lake levels which would have been many hundreds and hundreds if not almost a, a five to eight nine hundred feet up above where we are now those are estimates and uh, so this was all under a, an enormous lake millions of years ago and that's why the Salt Lake, uh, Great Salt Lake, got to be the Great Salt Lake. Utah Lake is just south of it. And uh, all that lake evaporated. And all the salt settled to the bottom. And then it stayed in the water for a part. And that's why Great Salt Lake is so briny, so salty. For many people, you can't even sink in Great Salt Lake. Depending on exactly where you are and how briny it is. At least that's the story. I haven't tested it out myself. Uh, you can see that there's uh, agriculture going on out here. There's a big bunch of... Uh, cows right there in front of you. You can see them just sort of huddled together. Right there. Several other spots out here where they're raising cows. Uh, they do have uh, orchards on the, around the uh, curve of the lake here going that way. And uh, just uh, interesting territory. And it doesn't, didn't take much of a drive to get this much elevation. So there's lots of hills and mountains around the valley. And that's why there was a big lake here at one time. It all surrounded in sort of a hole, as they say in old trapper days, as in Jackson's Hole by the Grand Tetons. So this is the third and final video from Utah Lake, or Lake Utah. Travels with Bill continues.